It's really great to see so many young people here today, not only participating in the ceremony, but in the crowd, because I think it's extremely important on Memorial Day that not only do we gather together to remember those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in service of this nation, but that we continue on with the traditions that have made this country great. And so on this Memorial Day, not only do we get here together for a ceremony and a parade, but I would also ask you to do something when you go home. I'd ask you to instill in these children what the meaning of Memorial Day is. I would ask you to tell them about a loved one who is no longer with us, that proudly wore the uniform of our armed services, that went overseas, that gave their life, so that we can continue to live in this greatest nation that has ever blessed this earth. It is incumbent upon all of us to make sure that this next generation is as proud and as strong and as faithful to our values that have made this country what it is today. And thinking of this generation, whether it be the generation of young people coming up to sing the national anthem, or maybe the next generation, Bill Patton telling us he proudly served in Iraq and would go back in a second, or whether it be this generation of Vietnam vets, World War II vets, Korean War vets that I see here today, I have the full confidence and faith that our country is prepared for the challenges that are before us. I have confidence that the future is bright for America and that with this generation, the next generation, we will continue to be this nation that promotes freedom here at home, protects liberties here at home, and protects our friends and allies across this world. This is Memorial Day. Many folks are out there having cookouts, taking an extra day off from work. Take the extra step today. Teach a child about what this day means. Instill in them. Prepare them to take the torch to the next generation. It's been a privilege to speak to you this morning. It's been a privilege to serve you for these last eight years as your state representative and one of the greatest honors that I have each year is coming before you and speaking about my thoughts on this Memorial Day holiday. May God bless all of you, our troops, and our fallen heroes. Ray Torkel will now honor the dead. Ed Hoxie, and now Fiend the Bell. Paul Goldrup. 
Philip Thomas, Richard Loring, Robert Hoxie Sr., Benjamin Fleet, Raymond Scoville, John Terrell, Ronald Willett, Joseph Jacinto, John Reyna, Kyle Tammy, Thomas Judge, Henry Chambers, William Flynn, Michael Spepard, Robert Hilton, Joseph Maloney, Rosario Salami, Edward Landers, Arthur Acacia, John Michael, William Mooney, James Graham, Hugh Buckley, John Adams, Lester Hopkins, William Romoski, George Defenbach, Paul Legacy, John Sherman, Abraham Cartagen, Edward Hoxie Sr., Paul Musali. Honor God, salute the dead. Ready, aim, fight! Ready, fight! Ready, fight! Reach over! Oh, man. I guess they all have to. Oh, man. She's a wing for us. Great. Thank you, Barbara. 